How's it going? Dave from Comic Book Investments. Well, today is our market analysis. And today, what we're going to go over is the 30 cent variant. Now, if you can tell, I'll just grab one of these. Look at the difference in the price. I may come right here a little bit. As you can see, one says 25 cent and one says 30 cent. And the reason for this was Marvel wanted to raise their prices, but they weren't sure, because normally they're 25 cents, they weren't sure how the public would respond to the price hike. Now, if you think about it, it's like, oh, it's five cents. But going from a 25 cent to an additional five cents to 30 cents, that, you know, hey, you know, that's a, that's a big deal, you know. That's, a, that's like a 20% increase from where you were before. So they weren't sure if they were going to do that, so they did a test market. They did it from, let me get the exact dates right, April through August of 1976. And they only tried it in a few different cities. I'll get the exact cities they tried it in. Grand Rapids, uh, Michigan, uh, Baltimore, uh, San Antonio, Texas, San Jose, California, Albuquerque, New Mexico, and then a few little small cities in Massachusetts. Now, there was 186 total 30 cent variants. Uh, they span through all their titles, so everything that Marvel's producing except uh, Kazar 16 and Inhumans number five, I believe. And they were more prevalent in the superhero uh, titles and less so in like the non-superhero stuff, like the Westerns. So the Western ones are very, very, very hard to come by and much more rare than say like a Daredevil or a Spider-Man because they just, Westerns were kind of going on their way out. And so they didn't really have a huge print run to begin with. And they didn't really feel like printing that many of the 30 cent variants. So they're much more rare. So I've never had, I've had most of the 30 cent variants um, because they're not like of there's, there's the two variants during this time. There's the 30 cent and the 35 cent variant. The 35 cent variant is much more rare. The 30 cent variant is much easier to come by. They spanned much more of the titles and they, yeah, they're just, I don't know. They're just not. A, they must have printed a lot more of the thirty cent variants compared to the thirty five cent variants when they changed that price hike, because they're pretty. Like I get them quite often, and the way you got and the interesting thing about the thirty cent variants is each one had a different what they call the blurbs, right? And the blurbs are how they did the pricing. Sometimes you might see, and there might be a circle, and it might be higher or lower in a different spot. Sometimes it's kind of like a more of like a rectangle type shape. So they're all kind of, they varied on how they presented them, which was kind of interesting. Unlike the 35 cent variant where it was literally just the exact same, but the price, they literally just cut out the 30 and put in a little five. And a little five is kind of like dropped down a little. It's not centered correctly and all sorts of it's interesting. 35 cent variants aren't as uh, common. But there is a price difference with the 30 cent variant. So it is much more rare than just the plain normal 25 cent, which was the going rate. And they did it kind of just to check like, hey, are people going to respond to this? Are they going to buy into the fact that we're going to raise the price? And it spanned multiple months, you know, say April, August. So it was like four months. And sometimes you'll have a run of Spider-Man, maybe three or four uh, books in a series that will have the... The 30 cent variant and they do are much more expensive than the regular 25 cent non-variant and we'll go more into that in a second to basically see the price difference so yeah let's jump into the numbers before i do uh, if you're not uh, subscribed please consider subscribing i hope that in this video you know that if you watch a few of my videos, you see what kind of content I have, and I hope that this is something you're into, and I hope that I can earn your uh, subscription. It helps me uh, grow and helps YouTube's algorithm to better understand what my channel is and help promote it to even you guys 
so you'll see it on your home page and whatnot. All right, so let's dive in the numbers. Okay, so let's look at the numbers. Before I do, though, um, some of you have already entered, but I did a, I'm doing a giveaway, and this is what I'm giving away right here for hitting a thousand subscribers. So you can see up there, number 1000 by Jacques, my favorite artist, um, my current, favorite current artist, I should say. But yeah, all you have to do is the previous video where um, I'm basically saying thank you everyone, I reached a thousand subs goal, the video that was right before this. Uh, if you just go on there, comment your favorite either comic book or your favorite comic artist, and that's all you have to do to enter. Um, I'm, if you're subscribed, great. If you're not subscribed, uh, please think about subscribing. It'd really help out this channel because now I have a new goal. But anyways, so let's get into the market analysis of of 30 cent variants. So now you can see on this chart here, I kind of did the non 30 cent variant versus the 30 cent variant. And most of the 30 cent variants didn't actually fall on like a key book. Most of them were just random books like an Iron Man 87, Defenders 37, you know, Spider-Man 158. They're not really like keys like an Internals 1 or a Marvel Spotlight 28 uh, or even Internals 2 or even X-Men 100. So I kind of gave a varying amount of keys versus not keys. So if you look at something like the Eternals number one, which is obviously a huge key, especially recently, a non-key version, roughly a 9.4, is going to cost you around $504. That's the most recent sale. You can get a 30 cent variant for, you know, a lot more than that. You know, 2,000, a little over 2,000. That's, you know, from this number to this number, it's a 337% difference between these two numbers. Um, so yeah, if you look at say the Spotlight, uh, Marvel Spotlight 28, looking at 479 can get you a non-variant, a variant is a little $1,100, the difference is 130%. Over here, on here I have the census, and that's how many have been graded total. Not graded in 9.4, just graded in total. Eternals number one, you have 338, Marvel Spotlight you have 101, even Spider-Man 1. 58, yep, 68. And then even if you look down here, Ghost Rider 17, not a key, not a real big issue. It's only 12. And you might be thinking to yourself, oh, wow, there's only 12. That means it's rare. It's actually not. And you might think something like, oh, Eternals 1, and there's a lot of them. No, that's not the case either. And the way they did it is they did it by, like I said previously, in different areas, different cities and things like that. So Spider-Man back then is going to have a way higher print run than a Defenders, an Eternals, or even a Ghost Rider. Much higher. He was popular back then. He's still popular today. But you're thinking, okay, well, there's 68, but there's actually way more Eternals, number one. The only reason there's more Eternals on the census is because it has more value than a 158. Because you have to think about it. A lot of these might be all banged up. So it's like, oh, I have a 2.0. You're not going to grade... 2.0 of a Ghost Rider 17 or Spider-Man 158, right? So you just don't grade them. They're not going to show up on the census, even though they exist. Now, if you have Eternals number one, 30 cent variant, and a 2.0 or 3.0 or 4.0 or whatever, you'll probably grade it. So more are going to pop, pop up on there. So like the Ghost Rider, it's like, oh, there's only 12. Well, there's a lot more than that because if you have like an 8.0, you're not getting it really graded at a 30 cent variant because it's going to not, it's not going to be worth really the the cost of the case. So a lot of these other ones won't get graded simply because it's not worth it. It's worth it to grade a 4.0 of Eternals number one. And X-Men, even 100, is probably worth it. It's not worth it to grade a 4.0 of 149. Because even in a 9.4, it gets you $190. It's a 4.0 going to get you. Not even, like, barely the case cost. And also another issue is these 30 cent variants are actually pretty hard to move. Like, most of these are buy it now. So someone going out and this is why I want this book. I'm willing to pay this price. So, like, in my, my experience, 
I sit on them much longer. Now, obviously, if it's Eternals, number one, different story. It's a key. But if I have like an Iron Man 87 or a Ghost Rider 17, I'm sitting on that book for years until someone comes along and gets it. So, yeah, it definitely is a bump. And if you average out all these, you're looking at roughly 342% is what you're looking. And that seems about right, the difference between these two. So, yeah, that's, that's, you can definitely see a bigger jump if you have the 30 cent variant. You're going to sit on it longer, of course. But also, we can look at, say, something like this. They don't sell that often. So, look, like the last one nine six sold was $88 in 2011. Uh, this one sold actually in October of 2020. And you won't have that many sales. But if you also look at and notice, like well, way back then it was $100. But even in 05, it was 300 Because these are all one sales. Like someone out there is willing to pay that price, right? There are not going to be a bunch of them. Someone puts it a high buy it now and they're just willing to pay. So maybe something like this one is like a person had it really high. No one's buying it. just dropped it low, low, lower to someone pays for it. And now I've also found this with 35 cent variants is they don't, you're not going to have a huge spike like you will with maybe the non ones, even though you're looking at a, a non um, non variant. Let's see this. Yeah, even the non variants, like uh, the same slight jump recently, but it was also you know a year ago is way down below. That's what it is. You're gonna have to get into if you want to see a big jump. I mean, look at that. That's pretty pretty big, but. 9.6, you're going to have to get something that also got popular as well. Um, so it has to be like a key issue. So if you look, you know, boom, skyrocketing. But if you also look at the non-variant, it's probably the same graph. Yep. Same. Yeah. Think about it. It's like Eternals which just kind of sat around. I used to, I got Eternals complete set, was it 1 through 19, I think? and then number one for the annual. I think it's 18 or 19. And I had probably 30 number ones, you know, probably like at least 10 or 12 complete sets, just tons. I got a huge collection years and years ago, probably around here, probably 2014. No, it was 2015. I got in 2015-ish, later 2015. And they just, yeah, they didn't really do anything because there was, Look, back here is just like, eh, nothing, nothing. Oh, movie gets announced. <laughs> hey, it gets closer to the movie. It's to like drop. Oh, now we're getting closer because, you know, they stop filming or something and then it continues to go up. So, yeah, you're just going to need, you know, same with Eternals 2, the difference right here. But if you look at, you know, was this Ghost Rider 17? Oh, you got just barely any sold. Just and but even there's not that many Ghost Rider 17 non variants sold, you know. And if you look at it, it's like let's see. Oh, we got two sales. That's it. Two sales. How many sales do we have of, of 92? Look, it dropped, technically. But again, like I said, this these are the kind of things. It's like you have to find the right person that's willing to that collects these. Um, but you can get more. You definitely can get more for it. You know, you're kind of three, four times the non-variant kind. And then sometimes they go for, look, they went for less. I mean, that was probably just an auction or maybe someone put it up and didn't realize that they had a variant. That happens. People put up things they don't realize what they have. But, but yeah, so that's kind of the 30 cent variant. They are definitely get more, but they're going to be harder to move if, if you're trying to resell them. And also as an investment purpose, they don't, they're not going to go up in value much more than the non-variant type. So if you have an Eternals number one, X-Men 100, something like that, you know, and it's slowly going up over time or huge jump like the Eternals, then you'll, the 30 cent variant will do the same. If it's just a random book, a Ghost Rider 17, Defenders 32, it's just going to go up as much as the other book goes up. So they kind of like are stagnated. So it goes up, you know, 
And then on top of that, you got to find someone who's willing to pay for it. So I hope you like this kind of stuff. Um, yeah, thank you.